What up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a real quick, simple highlighter effect within DaVinci Resolve. Now this is a slightly dirty, hacky way of doing this effect. There are arguably better ways of doing it within Fusion if you want to invest the time, but I wanted to come up with a real quick, dirty, hacky way of doing it within the Edit tab without having to download or mess around with anything just to get a real quick highlight effect. So. That's what it is. That's the intro out of the way. Let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve and we're currently on the edit tab. Now I've already added my text to my timeline. This is actually just a JPEG file of a page from a book. This technique I'm going to show you will work with images or photos like I'm using here. It'll work with videos and it'll also work with any text or titles that you've added manually within DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing we need to do, open up the effects library, top left hand corner. Expand the toolbox, come down to generators and you want to grab a solid color. Click and hold that and drag it above your media on your timeline. So I'm dragging mine onto track number two. Give it a click so it's highlighted in red. Top right hand corner, expand the inspector. Make sure you're on the video tab, the generator tab and then click on color. We're picking the color of the highlighter that we want. So I'm going to go with a nice blue for this one, but choose whatever color you want. And then we're going to click on OK. And then we're going to jump into the Settings tab, still within the Inspector. Come down until you see Composite. If you don't see the options underneath, just give the word Composite a click to expand those. And then just drag the opacity down. So this is the opacity of the highlighter. So you can have it quite dark or quite light, quite faint, whatever you want. Just pick the opacity that works for you. I find anywhere between 25 and 30 seems to work well. Once you're happy with that, underneath your preview window, you've got this little drop down, click on transform, and then you've got these icons around the solid color. And then we can just drag these to resize a highlighter. So I'm just gonna highlight this line here. So we'll get this in the right place, something like that, perfect. But now if we were to hit play, it would just pop in and wouldn't actually animate. So next we just need to animate it. So what we're gonna do is move our playhead to the very beginning of this solid color here, like so. Make sure the solid color is highlighted still. Within the inspector, come down to cropping and then click on this icon, this little diamond to add a keyframe. And then we just need to crop our solid color, which we can then animate. So I want my highlighter to start from the left and animate over to the right. So I'm gonna crop from the right. So what we need to do at this point is just to crop all the way in so that we can't see our solid color at all. And then we're just going to move our playhead forward about a second or so. And then we're going to grab our crop right and bring it all the way back so that you can fully see our highlighter. And then if we hit play, it's just going to animate like so. Now what we can do from here is just tidy it up to make it look a little bit nicer and fine tune the timing as well. So on your timeline, give the solid color a click and then click on this little icon in the bottom right hand corner. That will open up your retime curve and then from here we can just smooth out the animation. So click on the little drop down here and then select the crop which you use, so in my case it's crop right. And then you can see these two white dots. Now these are your keyframes. So at the very beginning we had a full crop and then at this one here we had a zero crop. So all I'm going to do is click on each of those. So give that one a click so it's highlighted in red. And then at the top here, you've got these four little icons. So we can just change the curve. Now I'm going to click this one, the second one in from the left. And that's just going to put a little curve in there. And I'm going to click the bottom one, do the same thing. So now we've got a nice simple S curve. And then if we hit play, our animation is just going to look a little bit nicer. Now from here, we can also fine tune our timing. So grab the second keyframe, the one at the bottom here. Give it a click so it's highlighted in red. Hold shift on your keyboard and then you can drag it to the right to slow down your animation. So now if we hit play, you can see it's much slower. Or drag it to the left to speed up the animation. Like so. Once you're happy with it, click that icon once again, just to close this down. And there you go, you've got your real simple highlight animation. Now if you need to copy this so you can highlight other bits of text, it's really easy. Just hold the Alt key on your keyboard, click and hold your mouse, drag up or across to a different track and then release and you've made a copy of that solid color. Give it a click in the inspector, go to generator, click on color and then we can pick a different color. So let's go with a red for this one 
and then same again. Click on it on the timeline, make sure your transform is on, and then you can just move it to wherever you want it. So I'm just going to go with this little section here. Let's trim it down. There we go, perfect. And then if we hit play, it looks like that. Now that's a little bit quick, so we can slow it down. We're going to click on our icon once again to open up our curve. We're going to go to our crop right, hold shift, drag this out, hit play. And there we go. Easy as that. Copy this as many times as you like and job done. And that's it. Easy as that. Shove that in your highlighter and smoke it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Any comments or feedback down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.